Pastor Knox and I felt it would be important if we build bridges with our community. In Flint Clergy are working to bridge the gap between the community, the church, and the police department. ABC 12's Siobhan Riley joining us now with more on that effort. Siobhan. Matt, the costume program launched in January. It calls for pastors to, to provide help and comfort to families at crime scenes, but they see the need to start those relationships before those crimes happen. This spring and summer, you might notice these pastors walking the streets and areas of Flint where sirens and yellow tape are all too common. Crime is, in many ways, an expression of desperation, and we feel that we can help console, we can help uh, encourage, we can help people look for other alternatives. With that mission in mind, members of the clergy are going door to door, making themselves more familiar to the community. There's numerous people, thousands of people who may never attend an organized house of religion. But what we're going to do is we're going to go see them. So for the next couple of months, you're going to see us in various neighborhoods across the city trying to reach the people where they are. The goal is to have conversations with people who live and work in those communities when there's not a police investigation going on nearby. Pastors believe that's the only way programs like Caution can succeed. MVP Cuts Barbershop on the south side of Flint was one of the pastor's stops today. Michael Evans spent 25 years in prison before coming to work here. He thinks those visitors can have a positive impact in the streets and neighborhoods where he grew up. I'm born and raised on the south side. I appreciate the fact that the police interacted with the pastors and the ministers to get them opportunity to go out there and address these young folks. And Flint Police Officer Tanya Meek says that it's important for pastors to build those relationships in the long run that will help investigators do their jobs when they're called out to a crime scene. In the studio, Siobhan Riley, ABC 12 News.